Hi everybody, it's Peter Dills for CNN Headline News. We're back in Laguna Beach, California. What are we doing here? We're at the Cottage Restaurant right here on Coast Highway. My name is Miguel. I am the chef at the Cottage. I make a baja omelette. I put a, a pico de gallo salsa, Mexican, eggs, fresh, cheddar, mozzarella, avocado, fresh. It's a baja omelette. I make a fresh uh, pancakes, that's a uh, butter meal. It's a uh, fresh every day, make a uh, flour. It's a uh, use a meal, butter meal, baking soda, flour. I wanna put a uh, cranberry, blueberry, For those of you who might be old enough to remember, it used to be called the Pancake Cottage. Hmm, I've learned a lot today. Laguna Beach, I love this city. Home of a lot of great restaurants. My research tells me that the Monte Cristo sandwich has different variations. So when I saw it right here on the menu at the cottage in Laguna Beach, I had to order it. I found out that the Monte Cristo sandwich was first made popular in the 1950s, right here in Southern California. Laguna Beach, hmm, I'm not too sure, but let's see how the Monte Cristo sandwich right here at the cottage stacks up against recent sandwiches in history. Mmm. You know what I love about coming to local restaurants, neighborhood restaurants like the cottage here in Laguna Beach? You always find the most interesting people and the most interesting stories. Case in point, I'm gonna introduce you to a gentleman. His first job was cooking right here at the cottage. You know, my guess is any restaurant that's been open for 40 years has a lot of stories. Lonnie, tell us about the cottage and what it means to you. And do you have any funny stories? Well, this is one of my uh, first jobs. When I came to Laguna Beach, uh, when I decided to become a chef, I got a summer position as a breakfast cook here. Hard work. All day on that grill, cooking eggs and pancakes. Somebody came in and they didn't want a certain egg or a certain bacon in any of their omelets? No, nope, we, we were just too busy back then. <laughs> they, they practically worked us to death. Yeah. I tell you. yeah. And so, what it, what's the difference in Laguna Beach? What have you seen? What, what have you seen change in the area in the mm. last 20 years? Well, it gets more and more crowded. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, bigger houses, more expensive, empty stores. What do you love most about Laguna Beach besides uh, coming I, here for Sunday brunch at the cottage? All that and a lot of fine restaurants. Yeah. And of course, the museum across the street in Heisler Park. Okay. One of the finest walks in the world. So, if they needed you to. Uh, go back into the kitchen and help out. Could you help out in a pinch? Hey, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. That was a lot of good information. Laguna Beach has a ton of museums and great restaurants. One thing I found at the cottage, they have their own herb garden. Check this out. Tomatoes, herbs, and for those of you who like it hot, chili peppers. For you patio diners, I got an extra bonus for you. This is my friend Max. The cottage is definitely dog friendly. If your dog smiles, your server might even bring out a little doggy treat. Now, how's that for a bonus? Right, Max? You know, I gotta tell you, come to the lobby at the cottage. It's worth looking at all these crazy photos. <laughs> Not a big breakfast or lunch fan? No worries, the cottage has got you covered. They're open for dinner. I do recommend the spinach lasagna. My uncle Giuseppe, oh, he'd love it. You know, life is spectacular when you're in Laguna Beach, having a glass of champagne and overlooking the ocean. The cottage restaurant, I think it has it all. We did breakfast, we did lunch, even a little bit of dinner. You can certainly dine inside, but I prefer having this glass of champagne right on the patio. Peter Dill signing off from the great city of Laguna Beach.